In the world of people, there are people who become tainted. There's also the fact that some people are more taintable than others. Those people don't have a real moral compass. They want to do things by their own tune. They want to go by their own drummer. They don't really want to listen to God in heaven or any other. The challenge for most people is what they should do versus what they shouldn't do. And I have a late sibling who always used to say, you shouldn't shit on yourself, which obviously is sort of a funny thing. She's meaning to say something else, but if you're smart enough, you'll figure it out. The truth is that we have to be willing to be taintable in order to move ourselves forward in life, meaning we have to be willing to take in new information. We have to learn about new sciences. We have to learn about new technologies. We have to learn about new communication tools, new social media capabilities. And all these things are a part of the marketing field, the world of entertainment in a way, to the world of authorship for sure. And the truth is we have to be willing to be tainted and not taintable. You see, if we're tainted, we're open to new ideas. If we're taintable, we're open to ideas that harm others. Tainted can also be negative. If we're not taintable, that's a good thing. If we're taintable, that's a bad thing. You see, it's all about how you use the word tainted versus taintable. Now, taintable is a great idea for a show that I'm gifting to Evie Pompuris because, you know, I like her, you know. But the truth is that she has an interesting construct of this idea that everyone lies. Well, I think that everyone has information they'd rather not disclose. Everyone has opinions they feel they should sort of keep to themselves. Everyone is looking not for a way to manipulate people, but a way to win over or with people. 